Food safety is important to everyone, from producers to food processors, to the consumer, to our families. Consumers expect the food they eat to be safe, and processors and workers want to be sure that no one gets sick because of the meat processed at their facility. Livestock have harmful bacteria on their hide, hair, and in their digestive tract. These harmful bacteria include pathogens that cause foodborne illness and spoilage, bacteria that decrease meat quality. During sanitary carcass dressing, it is impossible to prevent some of the bacteria from being deposited on the carcass surface. Processing, such as grinding, distributes the bacteria found originally on the meat surface throughout the ground product. If the surface of the carcass is contaminated with high levels of bacteria, then these harmful bacteria will be found in higher numbers in ground beef, burgers, and other ground meat products. The bacteria in these meat products can result in very serious human illnesses, as well costly recalls and potential lawsuits for abattoir operators. This is especially true when this meat is not cooked to a temperature high enough to kill the harmful bacteria. Harmful bacteria such as E. coli 0157H7, Salmonella, and Campylobacter that cause foodborne illness can be effectively reduced on the carcass surface with an antimicrobial spray treatment. Using this process, abattoir operators can take a few simple steps during the slaughter operation to improve food safety and quality. There are several steps to follow to ensure food safety in an abattoir. These include cleaning and sanitizing the facility and equipment, workers wearing clean clothing and following proper personal hygiene procedures, following sanitary carcass dressing procedures to produce a clean carcass. This is particularly important with hide removal and evisceration. Prior to washing, trimming the carcass to remove any visible contamination. Thoroughly washing the carcass with potable warm water. Applying an antimicrobial spray on the carcass surface to reduce bacteria. And finally, chilling the carcass as quickly as possible. It is equally important to follow sanitary dressing procedures. To safely process carcasses, the industry has adopted preventative steps to reduce the bacteria on meat. Provincial abattoirs have limited resources, manpower, and room available. It makes it very difficult to implement antimicrobial interventions such as hot water, steam pasteurizers, and vacuums, or automated carcass wash cabinets that are utilized by the large federal slaughter facilities. This video will demonstrate an important method for dramatically reducing bacteria on carcass surfaces. It is called antimicrobial spray intervention. Antimicrobial spraying of carcasses, internal organs and parts has been used throughout the industry for many years and is widely accepted as a processing aid to produce safer meat products. This involves the use of a dilute antimicrobial solution approved by Health Canada to reduce bacteria on meat surfaces. The concentrated solution is mixed with water and sprayed onto carcasses. Several food-safe compounds have been approved by Health Canada to treat red meat carcasses and certain meat products. They include organic acids, lactic, acetic, and citric, peroxyacetic acid, and chlorine-based compounds such as sodium hypochlorite. Although some of these compounds may affect the quality of the meat, including the color of the carcass, they are safe to use and very effective antimicrobial processing aids. The antimicrobial spraying of red meat carcasses has many benefits. It makes food safer for the public because it reduces bacteria, bacteria that is still present even after a very thorough sanitary carcass dressing. These bacteria cause foodborne illness and meat spoilage. The use of antimicrobial sprays improves food safety, and as well, the shelf life of the meat is extended by several days. The number of bacteria on red meat carcasses can be reduced consistently. Laboratory studies have shown that the use of an antimicrobial spray can reduce the carcass surface bacteria by up to 99%. This method takes only minutes. Costs to treat a carcass can vary from just a few pennies to dimes per carcass. The preparation and application of an antimicrobial solution is an effective, low-cost treatment that can easily be used by operators in provincial abattoirs. There are several ways of applying the solution on carcasses. We will demonstrate two methods in this video. One of these methods is the use of a hand applicator or a garden sprayer. The garden sprayer is inexpensive and simple to operate. 
It does, however, require extra time and effort to mix and apply the solution. The first step in using a hand applicator is to mix the water and the concentrated solution together. It is important to follow safe handling precautions and procedures for the compounds used. Read, be familiar with, and follow the material safety data sheet requirements for each compound used in the facility. Keep the material safety data sheet close to where the concentrated solution is stored and mixed in case of an emergency. It is important to protect the skin, eyes, and respiratory tract from possible irritation when mixing, preparing, and applying the solution. Good ventilation is important to avoid inhalation of fumes. Additional personal protective equipment must be worn when handling and applying the solution. This includes rubber gloves, an apron, and a face shield or goggles to protect eyes and skin. In order to mix the right concentration of solution, a graduated cylinder may be used. This provides an accurate volume measurement. An alternative is to use a plastic syringe. This is also very accurate. Another alternative is to use a plastic tube. A mark is put on the tube and then the concentrated solution is filled to that mark. The concentrated solution is then mixed with water. Once the solution has been mixed, it is time to spray the carcass. Note that prior to washing, the carcass must be trimmed to remove any visible contamination. After washing with water and prior to spraying the carcass, remember to allow the carcass to drip for a few minutes. Excess water on the carcass surface will dilute the antimicrobial solution and make it less effective. As an option, to allow for proper dripping after washing, the carcass can be moved directly into the chill cooler and then sprayed with a carcass spray solution later in the day. When spraying the antimicrobial solution, it's very important to thoroughly cover the carcass. Start from the top at the hip area and work down to the front. Spray more solution on the hock, belly, brisket, and neck. These areas tend to be contaminated during the carcass dressing. A hand or garden sprayer is more difficult to use because it is a challenge to completely cover the carcass with enough solution to be effective. If the carcass is not visibly dripping solution, it will not be effective. It may take several minutes to achieve adequate coverage. Also note that the hand sprayer has to be manually pressurized and because of the repetitive action required, it can be tough on workers. Although the garden sprayer is not ideally built for the harsh environment of an abattoir, it will work in a very small facility. The second method of antimicrobial spray application is through the use of an automatic dosing pump. Automatic dosing pumps allow for a larger volume of the dilute antimicrobial solution to be sprayed on the carcass. Because of this, the automatic dosing pump provides for better coverage and is more efficient than a hand sprayer. To use the automatic dosing pump, a water line is first connected to it. A container with a concentrated antimicrobial solution is attached to the pump. It is a simple process. The pump draws a certain amount of concentrated solution, mixes it with the water, and the end result is a dilute solution ready for carcass spraying. In this case, the solution is 200 parts per million. The carcass does not require any rinsing with water after the antimicrobial solution is applied. There is no need for hand mixing as the unit does so automatically and accurately. There is an initial cost for equipment and installation. However, after this is done, labor costs are minimal. This system allows the operator to save time and effort at a very low cost. The automatic pump delivers a much higher volume of solution and therefore the spraying takes much less time and effort than when using a garden sprayer. Contact your local industry supplier to obtain information on the various compounds and equipment available for antimicrobial spray applications. It is a good idea to use antimicrobial spray on the internal organs. Internal organs are often contaminated with bacteria and tend to spoil quickly. One way to improve the shelf life and food safety of the internal organs is to use an antimicrobial spray. Each internal organ can be sprayed individually, whether it is the liver, the kidneys, the heart, or any other part from the carcass. The antimicrobial spray kills the bacteria on contact. When using an antimicrobial spray at the approved concentration, there is no need to rinse the internal organs or parts with water. The provincial meat inspector works on the slaughter floor during the entire operation, thoroughly inspecting every carcass, the internal organs and parts, and monitoring sanitary dressing procedures, ensuring the production of a safe and wholesome meat product. 
The meat inspector has completed the final inspection and the carcass is stamped. This stamp, also called a legend, identifies the carcass as being edible and fit for human consumption. The carcasses are immediately moved into the cooler for chilling. Regardless of which system you use, some monitoring will be required. This means that the carcass spray solution must be checked to make sure that the correct concentration of compound is being used. It is important to keep daily records of the concentrations and to adjust the solution as necessary. The solution concentration is very low, so it is important that an accurate dose is delivered to the carcass. Because if the concentration is too weak, the antimicrobial solution will not work as well. If the concentration is too strong, there could be some residues left on the carcass. To check the concentration, there are actually several solutions that are mixed together. We know what the right concentration is based on color changes that happen when the solutions are mixed together. Monitoring is an important part of applying the carcass spray. Be sure to keep written records. There are kits available to test concentrations. They are called titration kits. These are available at local industry supply companies. In summary, there are several steps to follow to ensure food safety in an abattoir. These include cleaning and sanitizing the facility and equipment, workers wearing clean clothing and following proper personal hygiene procedures, sanitary carcass dressing procedures to produce a clean carcass. This is particularly important during hide removal and evisceration. Prior to washing, trimming the carcass to remove any visible contamination. Thoroughly washing the carcass with potable warm water. Allowing the carcass to drip for a few minutes on the slaughter floor or in the chill cooler. Using an antimicrobial spray to reduce bacteria on the carcass surface. And finally, chilling the carcass as quickly as possible. Use this as a guide to improve food safety and market access in your abattoir. Meat processors are working hard to do a good job. We want to maintain a safe and wholesome meat product. Antimicrobial spraying is a low cost, efficient and effective method of reducing bacterial contamination on the surface of red meat carcasses, hearts and organs. And using antimicrobial spray to remove the extra bacteria allows consumers, such as families like yours, to enjoy safer food. Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development supports and recommends the use of an antimicrobial spray intervention to improve food safety in your abattoir. For further information on antimicrobial spray intervention treatment of red meat carcasses, please call your industry supplier or phone the Ag Info Center toll-free in Alberta at 310-FARM, 310, -FARM, 310 3276.